Okay guys, so part two of my Kensington laptop lock series. Now this is actually the uh, ClickSafe keyed laptop lock. A fantastic little uh, lock for laptops there, which actually has a disk detainer core in it, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, how they've actually managed to get so many disks into such a small keyway there, I have no idea. Um, but as you can see, we've got a profile disk at the uh, top there, followed by six disks going through the lock. A fantastic little variant of the uh, Kensington lock. Um, now as you can see, by the key I'll just quickly show you that as you can see by the key we've got a zero cut at the bottom there and this particular lock has got a zero cut to the top with four different cuts throughout the lock um, so but a very very tricky one and as you can see by the key it is a tiny little thing I'll just get you a uh, Avis plus key to uh, give you an indication of just how small it is as you can see by the Avis plus one and of course the uh, Kensington one this is a tiny little lock so of course that brought up its own challenges in itself obviously to uh, get some tools to actually sort of uh, get into the actual key way to actually manipulate the discs certainly with um, a little profile uh, disc there as well it made for a very very challenging little job um, quite an interesting one though of course um, so the actual lock itself obviously once we actually get that into there got these two jaws at the bottom of the lock there which actually open up and actually interact with a prefix nub into the uh, laptop Kensington slot there just like that um, of course you've now got a very secure fix in there and of course the other end would be to a uh, fix to an anchor point somewhere in your office or home so a fantastic little lock okay obviously to manipulate these obviously I will rotate all the um, discs clockwise as far as they will go making sure that I've picked up all the discs and making sure they're all completely clockwise so of course to uh, manipulate those discs we're going to need a tool and as you can see there I've got a very very tiny picking tip there um, and uh, this is just my standard tensioning uh, tip there which I've just brought in the actual uh, two little uh, fingers there to actually uh, make sure I can actually get them into the actual uh, lock itself so of course we have rotated all the uh, disc clockwise as far as I'll go so I'm just going to insert the uh, picking tensioning tip there and just get to the uh, the bottom of the lock there just making sure that we're actually right in the bottom there it's good um, okay that feels fine so of course we're going to apply moderate tension just make sure you can see everything there um, so of course our first disc as we've already ascertained is a tensioning disc which will I believe be the same on all of these locks um, so of course we're just going to go into there just find that bottom disc okay just need, the problem is obviously just making sure everything's nice and straight um, otherwise you can't sort of get through the disc stack okay so I believe that that there is our bottom disc so of course we just need to go up to the next one there which is there so of course with moderate tension we're just going to rotate until we actually get a click which is there that's nice okay so the next one up which is there moderate tension still got a nice little click there next one up there a nice little click there next one up there nothing nothing there and there you go so we just uh, pull that out there and we've managed to get those uh, all those discs uh, manipulated but if you think we need a specialized tool with modifications to actually get these open these ones definitely won't be getting picked open in uh, in the office or the home a fantastic little lock hope you enjoyed that and of course i'll leave uh, a playlist for the uh, the other kensington locks i've got up in the top corner there listen guys thanks ever so much for your time have a fantastic day and i'll catch up with you again soon cheers guys